What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I just came back from meeting up with a renter who was renting out my Canon C70. It's the first rental I've done on a camera and I kind of want to take this opportunity to just do a quick little vlog, talk about my background on renting camera gear. It actually started from maybe almost a decade ago when I was in New York and I first started buying gear and I started buying gear because I had booked commercial, a Fiat commercial, and I was getting some crazy residual checks, which I truly appreciated, but um, went down to the bank, had a large sum of money, was like, yo, what's the rate of return I can get on dropping this money in the bank, and it was like 0.01%, and at that time, like it was the 5D era, I was just like, yo, you know what, I could buy a 5D, buy a Red Rock shoulder rig, rent out my gear, and make the money, make 10 times the amount of back that I would make interest of my money sitting in the bank and I did that um, just from my experience of shooting short films renting out gear that I didn't have enough time to figure out how to use and I, I saw it as a waste of money and when I had this lump sum of money from the commercial and then the combination of going down into the bank understanding what type of return I would get on my money it was a no-brainer so I started renting so even when I moved out to LA I still kept that same mentality having my Canon C100 Mark II on the leasing program I was like, whenever I'm not shooting, I'm going to rent that out, make some money back. From that day, I always had two cameras, at least two cameras. I got three now, C500 Mark II, C70, and the R6. And that the benefit of that is it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about renting out one camera. Because I do a lot of last-minute work sometimes. Like, I get hit up, like, come on, can you shoot this event? So always having one camera makes it a little beneficial in that regard. And then on top of that, you know, renting out the gear is a way for me to make money, feel better about being a gearhead. And those renters turn into relationships that those relationships turn into opportunities. So that is something dope. And I use them for projects or sometimes they hire me on projects or they rent out other gear. Like I think my renter today that was renting out the Canon C70 was pretty much wanting to test out the Canon C70. And let me test out to make sure this is working. It should be working. Yeah, for the most part, I think he wanted to test out the C70 in regards to how it will work, how it will figure. Let me hit record on this bad boy real quick just to make sure we're good and go. So this is footage from the Canon C70, making sure the focus is in line. I got the ND filters all the way up right now. Let's take that off a little bit. All right, so this is the Canon C70. This is a really tight shot because I rented it out with the RF 35 f, f 1.8 macro STM lens, which is a great little lens for the Canon C70. Uh, yeah, autofocus face tracking seems to be working pretty solid. I prefer a 24 millimeter when I'm vlogging. Like right now, I'm shooting on the 24 to 105 f4 to 7.1. Just gives me a little bit more room. I don't have to worry about being as tight and cropped in on the Canon C70. But because of this video, you can kind of see the comparison of the full frame. Let's go to video mode real quick. So this is what two car camera vlogging looks like. Bum bum. All right, we turn that off. The camera looks good. So the camera is checked out solid. When I normally meet up with my renters, I go to Starbucks. Not too far from me. It's actually an outdoor little space. Meet up in a parking lot. Exchange, I always take a photo of my camera with their license. So I have that for record showing like you was here and then you see the state of my camera gear. Put it in a nice little camera bag. Makes the benefit of this camera bag that I moved on from. Now I have a peak design, but this is a great little renter camera bag. Protects the gear, have everything all in one place. Um, check out the gear, check out the footage. Always turn the camera on, make sure everything is working properly. Uh, also make sure to know your serial numbers at the bottom of your camera so no one's switching. Also make sure you check the sensor. As you can see, the sensor is clean. So. Once the sensor's clean, once everything is working, it's functional, I feel good about that. I go home, I do a checklist. This is more applicable to share grid, but it's very similar to kit split. 
And uh, yeah, it's been good for me. Good relationships, good opportunities I've developed from shared grid renters as well as my kid split. And also keep in mind, when people are renting, go always turn them down last minute. I check the profile if you're in production or I see that your work is something that justifies you renting out my gear that I normally feel comfortable doing so. Always have insurance. I'll put a link down below to some insurance options for you out there your home insurance doesn't necessarily cover your camera gear or your car insurance so i feel like some people have made that mistake but i'll put a link down below in the description box so you can check out some of these places to insure your gear but overall it's been good i've heard of some nightmare situations from renter places i've had nothing but great experiences honestly um, and I'll tell you, but always trust your instincts, trust your gut. You see a renter that don't look like they shoot projects, you don't understand why they're renting out your $15,000 camera, your $5,000 camera, then you can always say no. It's up to you. It's, it's your choice. It's your freedom. I don't know if she agree, agrees with that or not. I don't care. It's my gear. I spend money on it. I make my choices. It is what it is. But for the most part, I've had a good track record with renters, and I've been getting good reviews. And uh, this is something to think about, especially if you're a little bit of a gearhead like me and Justifies why you buy your gear, having multiple cameras, I'm renting out one, and I'm still available to do last minute projects, and I'm making money without leaving the house. So, I hope this free game was helpful. Think about giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, turn on notifications to be alerted for more videos that will be dropping soon, comparison videos, narrative films, and a lot of other different projects. Also, comment down below if you got questions. You know, at the end of the day, I'm here to share give game because i received so much game from youtube so i'm just paying it back paying it forward it is what it is and as always stay creative be courageous and get on your grind